Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We seem to be in hell, which, oh, isn't that nice. Well, Garrett's thinking, the reasonable thing to do would be to cast a little wizard eye and have that little bugger take a look around for us, just in case, so we don't run into some horrible soul-stealing demon that will kill us, kill us all and eat our babies. Or the souls of our babies. Uh, this reminds me of the turnip sellers. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnips still in the corner. Come on, Yan, be honest. Turnip sellers remind you of hell? How bad can these turnip sellers actually be? They have statues like that. Big demon men with, like, tentacles coming out of their eyeballs. Somehow I doubt that. Somehow I doubt that. Well, there seem to be a lot of stairways. Apparently, uh, stairways are quite popular in hell. Which, you know, who knew? But apparently that's the truth. Well, let's take our little magic eyeball over here. What do you know? It's another stairway. And they're all leading downward. To perhaps some deep, dark, evil secret. And this is the fun little statue that's apparently in the middle of the room. Isn't that pleasant? What about down here? What do our contestants win? Oh, hey, it's another stairway. I think we're getting the draw of this place pretty quick. Stairs down in five different directions and the mysterious abyssal door that does not seem to open. Well then, I think our eyeball did its job. Question is, do we want to start from the left or the right? Of course. Carrot, we'll vote that the group starts from the right. So on we go. Since we're already pretty prepared after that fight with Arenicus, I suppose it would be only logical for us to come on down this way. Let's go, everyone. Ah, so you have come to us at last, child of Bull. You've come to claim your heritage, perhaps, and in pieces, no less. How terrible it must be to die in such a state. They are speaking with a demon whose name is Pride. Hmm. How would Carrot react to such an odd occurrence? In pieces. Yeah, he'd be more curious than anything else. What are you talking about, in pieces? What kind of riddle is this? I speak of your soul, child of murder. You are a piece of the whole, and your essence has not faded to rejoin Baal. Therefore, your blood holds sway here. Hold sway? What are you talking about? You hold power here, or rather the piece of you that is balls. And that part of you rests now in both you and the other one, the wizard, yes? He stole much of your divine soul, but not all, so you are tethered together. Neither truly dead, and neither truly alive. Ah, most interesting indeed. So how do I end this, fiend? Will you tell me that? But you already know. You must seek your soul by gathering the tears of Baal. Only then shall the way be open to you. Tears of Baal? Death causes many tears to fall, child, and Baal collected many while he lived. The tears will open the eyes and show you the path to your soul. It's a good thing you've come to me, child of Baal. Only you hold the power to vanquish the terrible creature that holds one of your dead father's tears here. I have heard of your prowess, child. Most impressive for a mortal life. Creatures of great power thrown aside as if they were nothing. Beings any other mortal would quake before, you have fought against valiantly. You are a wonder of destruction, child of all. Go then and defeat the creature that lies in the cavern. Crush it beneath your heel and claim another victory! Uh, well, uh, first you need to calm down, and second, what manner of creature do you speak of? It is a powerful creature, child of Bor, one that only you can destroy. I am confident in your ability to deal death to such a creature as this, and take the tear that is yours. Oh yeah, well, it's powerful, I understand that, but what kind of creature is it? It is a creature that deserves death, child of Bor. You are such a wondrous fighter. I simply thought that you could defeat it where others failed. And why does it deserve death? Because... 
because it exists, it stands in your way. Well, I don't know if you got the memo there, uh, sir, but we do not kill things just because they're in our way. I mean, unfortunately, it comes to that quite often, but... Not when we can avoid it. You do not. Then perhaps you consider carefully the place that your terrible power will focus upon? Consider the reason behind every blow? Well, not everyone, but most of them. I see that despite your great deeds, you have no pride in your child of all. So be it. Humility serves well those who wield it well. Mm, well, we try. And off he goes. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Hmm, well, let's see what's waiting for us up here. Oh, hello! My goodness, that would be a dragon. Okay, you're oh, the one who's yes. supposed to talk to it. How you doing there, chum? You have mastered your pride, Carrot Larray. The tear of Baal is yours. Go well. Oh! Thanks! Bye there. Oh, well, what do you know, folks? That wasn't too difficult. All we had to do was not be pig-headed. A teardrop-shaped gemstone of a deep, oddly unsettling color. The tear is one of the keys required to open the Watcher's door. Oh me, oh my. Minced, please hold that. Thank you. Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be much... Wait a minute. Yes, there is something in here. Yen, check for traps. Is that all that's awaiting? It would seem as such. No traps detected. Hey, some handy-dandy potions. Potions of extra healing and potions of invulnerability. Only usable by warriors, mind you. Uh, who needs a good pair of healing potions? You're good, you're good. Uh, Imowen. Well, actually, I think we're going to give one to Minsk, because he tends to get hurt a lot. And we'll give one to Yan here, because he also gets hurt a whole bunch as well. Well done, good spot. And we got to avoid fighting a dragon, because we don't have our head up our ass. Think that the world revolves around us, just because we're a demigod. Aw, my little aura faded. Oh well. It is kind of a... Uh, how you would say it? A little kitschy, you know? I mean, it's so bright and... It's, it's just ugly. It's yeah, just damn ugly. That's all there is to say, really. Okay, well, let's gather round, team. Go down this next fearful stairwell and see what awaits us. Tear of Baal lies very close to here, child of Baal. Just beyond either of these two rooms before you. You have encountered many times in your existence where you have been forced to swallow your fear, no? You have fought off terror that would overwhelm a lesser being and shown courage instead. Pass through either of these rooms and your vaunted courage shall be challenged, child of Baal. Mm. I have something I will offer, however which will make it so much easier for you, child. You know, like so many with power, that items of magic can do much that the ordinary man cannot. Such as this cloak, for instance. Stitched together from the flayed skins of lovely nymphs. You Wear it and be soothed by its powerful magic. Panic will never overcome you again. With this cloak, you could easily gather the tear of Baal and worry not of your courage. I bow to the power of your divine soul, child, and offer this cloak up to you, if you wish it. Yeah, a cloak stitched from the skin of nymphs? Wow, yeah, well, you don't have to tell me that's not kosher. Um, no thanks. I mean, we, we've got lots of magical equipment, we don't need that much more. Then you choose to rely on your own power and bravery. It shall be as you wish, child of Baal. Oh, well, thank you. Well, there goes fear. Uh-oh. We hear orbs casting their spells. Well, you know what that means. We're gonna have to get our favorite little magical shield, the Shield of Balderon. Give it to our mighty muscly man here. Because that's gonna be awfully helpful in, uh, not too... Well, actually, it's going to be helpful probably immediately. In fact, it might be a good idea for him to actually drink one of these potions to give him some saving throw bonuses. Eh, I don't know. We'll just keep it there just in case. This stuff will keep separated. But this is all equipment. Alright, uh, well, while Minsk bounces off all those nasty rays, 
I suppose the rest of the party will just hurl magic over in that direction. And hopefully he won't be affected too much. Alright, Minsk, get ready for craziness. I suppose you can cast some simple spells to help prepare yourself for what's ahead. Jahira, you got anything that'll help him out? In his crazy slaughter fist? Negative plane protection actually might do him a lot of good. Should protect against the worst of the death the worst of the death effects. Alright, well let's pick a random route. Minsk, try this way. Sure enough, there are friends. Goodness, there are a lot of them. Elder orbs. Elder orbs, elder orbs everywhere. And Gauth, of all things. I think we got that shield. Alright, let's start killing some elder orbs, because, hey, why not? Is this thing charmed? It is. Alright, elder orb, try biting your friend! Uh oh. I do believe they just imprisoned him. What a pain in the ass. Hmm... I don't suppose anyone has a freedom spell prepared, do they? Kara, do we have one sitting in a... a scroll, hopefully? So we don't have to actually stop, rest, and prepare the damn thing? Ooh, what a pain in the butt. Doesn't look like it, actually. Oh, uh, wait! No, we do! But I thought that, uh, well, let's check with our mages and see if anyone actually has learned it. Yeah, he's learned it. So is she. Oh, it's a good thing we actually do have a spare one. Let's hope they don't imprison Minsk all over again. Alright, Ian, we're gonna leave this to you. Alright, cast freedom. Okay. Uh, Minsk is not here. Where is he? Of course. He's probably over there fighting. Yeah, sure enough, he is. Alright, let's try to get him in the party. Hopefully before we all die. Did you hear it? Get in there and, uh, well, actually, don't get close to them. That might end in terrible death. Summon spiders! Uh, can we actually talk to Minsk right now? It doesn't look like we can. Well, that's damn unfortunate. Well, let's start throwing out some nasty spells to communicate the fact that we don't like them. Like, perhaps a comet or two. Boom! Oh, God, that was sweet! Oh, I think they, uh, I think they really love that one. Down it goes! Uh, hi there, Minsk! Uh, yeah, welcome back, Minsk. Welcome back to the party. Apparently he had to manually rejoin us. And for some reason it gave us back these items. Whatever, here you go, amigo. <laughs> it even gave us back this ring that was the Ring of Gax. There you go, pal. Now you should be feeling better about yourself. Alright, uh, let's give that to Jahira. She tends not to get sent into odd planes as much. Well, that was an interesting little fight. Uh, Yan got a bit banged up, unsurprisingly. Rays tend to do such a thing. There, now you're feeling a hell of a lot better, aren't you, you little guy? I don't care, it's only got one hit point away from 60 hit points. Woohoo, mighty indeed for a mage. And Minsk will just regenerate now that he has the Ring of Gax back on. So what's this thing over here? You have faced your fear without resorting to the protection and power of evil. The tier of Ball is yours. Cool. I wonder what's on this other side. Well, let's look for traps. There's bound to be some if there's just a treasure chest sitting here. Yep, just like we thought. Do your thing, Ian. Well done. And what's inside? Potions galore! Wow, now we can actually give Emwyn some strong potions as well, and save the little stuff for people when they need it. Wow, we actually have a lot of really powerful potions now.
Can Jahira use this? She can. It, she can. Excellent. We're actually bursting with these things. Here, Jahira, drink one and be ultra strong for a while. It's not like we're really running short of these things, so why the hell not? Um, this scroll, can't we just stuff that with the other protection scrolls? We can. Fantastic. We still have these seeds. I don't know if they're going to do much of anything, but uh, I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Any, either way, well done, team. I suppose we can just walk on out of here now. Well, hopefully we won't run into any more beholders, so Mince can put his other shield back on. Problem with this is that it lowers his strength, even though it's a better armor class. Frankly, just one AC worth of difference when you're already at negative 10, aka 30, for third edition rules is not that much of a meaningful difference, so we'll just continue on. Here we go, team! On we go! We have conquered f pride and fear! Well, pride is definitely one of the seven sins, but fear is not. So, we're at least not going by that uh, biblical pronouncement. We're doing it Forgotten Realm style. Come on, everyone! There are more challenges ahead! What's going on here? Child, that there is a tear of ball in this place before us. Yet there are two paths that lead to it. Two doors, two paths. Yet both lead to your goal. Yes? Well, um, okay. You have made many choices on the journey that was your life. Many paths have you taken. And always they have had an effect on those around you. Even when that was not your intention. Well, that's a fair point, Mr. Selfish. Such is the fate of those born with destiny. The consequences of the actions they take ripple about them throughout all that is reality. Perhaps the fate of others concerns you little. Perhaps it consumes your soul. That too is a choice, an action taken, a ripple set into the pond of reality. Well, this is all very existential, but uh, can we get to the point and talk about uh, what this all has to do with the tear then? The path that you take to the tear will affect another this day. Another who is innocent of the action you take, and yet affected by it just the same. One of those who travels with you, who orbits your destiny and yet is innocent of your taint, will do nicely. Remember, child of all, a choice must be made, and you must live with the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Go to my left and sacrifice for the innocent. Go to my right and save yourself. So, his left, he was facing us. Why is Chihira held all of a sudden? Buh? What in the heck? Okay, apparently he's kidnapped Chihira. And we gotta get her back. Um, alright, well, to his left... Garrett obviously is going to sacrifice anything and everything to try to get Jahira back. I mean, she's his best friend. You have lost two hit points from your maximum hit point level. Down to 57. You have lost one dexterity point. Eh, yeah, what does it matter? We weren't that dexterous in the first place. Down to 16. You have lost experience points. From one who willingly shoulders the burden of destiny and its effect upon others. Your companion is returned to you, child of Baal. The tear of Baal is yours, child. Hey, Jahira. You okay? Gosh, I hope so. Hey, at least they have some treasure back here for us to take a peek at. Any traps? Nope. Just some gold and more potions. Wow, we're sure starting a collection of these things. In fact, everyone has at least five right now. Well, Minsk is certainly going to carry the excess, considering he's the one who typically gets hurt the most, so... Well so, done. Of course. And cared with not at all anything for Jahira at this point. 
I mean, he obviously has bonded very well with Minsk and with Ian and with, of course, with Imowen, but... As good, as good of friends and colleagues and brothers and sisters as they all are, uh, him and Jahira have something special. Even though he badly misses Khalid and, of course, his first love, Dinah here. Both victims of Irenicus. Well, we've overcome selfishness. Let's see what awaits us down this way. Come on, team. You must gather your party. Oh, we got the party. Don't worry about that. One of the tears does slide near this very place. It is in the possession of another. One with so much power, so difficult to defeat it is. Oh, hello there, Greed. You seem to have quite a bit of a sibilant lisp. Isn't that nice? But all things. Even the most powerful can be overcome, yes. You have defeated many whose claims of power were so hollow. You tore them down from their thrones. Goodness, these demons sure like to rub it in. Uh, can, can we talk about the tear again? Ah, always you have used the right tools to defeat your foes, yes. And I am giving you now the right tool to defeat this one. Here it is. Gaze upon the soul that is named Black Razor. Most powerful it is, and it is the tool you need to defeat the one who holds the tear. It is for you to decide, child of Baal, how to use the tool you have. I leave you there. Young lord of this place. Hmm. Dubious. Alright, we're collecting tears. Jira, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, he gave us a sword. Minsk. Black Razor. Long sword plus three. This sword radiates evil like a sour odor. The owner never knows if he wields the weapon or if it wields him. In addition to its combat abilities, Black Razor slowly regenerates its owner with the drained strength of opponents. Regeneration one hit point every five seconds, immunity to charm and fear. With every hit, it has a 15% chance of draining four levels, healing the wielder by 20 hit points and, hast and hasting him for 20 seconds, as well as increasing his strength by three points for 20 seconds. And it's a plus three sword. Wow, that is fairly powerful. It's got it's got evil written all over it though. Hmm. Whatever I can do to help. Oh, this place is looking pretty spicy. Um and nobody step on the lava then. Even though just oh, hello. I see the rule of this small plane has come to me. Perhaps my eternal torment shall be relieved at long last. Oh, I can only hope. Eternal torment? Well, I mean, it does sound self-explanatory, but what do you mean by that? Ah, it is a punishment. I have been brought to this plane to hold the tear of Baal, and I shall remain for eternity until certain conditions are met. And those conditions might be... I cannot tell you directly, my lord. It is a condition of my punishment that I can only tell you of its nature in a riddle. Listen carefully. Ye who holds the razor's blade. Well, he obviously must be talking about the black razor. Forged of dark as iron. Yep, that sounds right. Quenched by blood and fear. Oh, yep, that definitely. Know ye that hold the key to the one who guards Baal's sacred murdered deer. Okay, well that seems not so much a riddle as a poem directly about what we're talking about. So, let me get this straight. Sword Black Razor is the key to getting the tear ball from you. I cannot answer that, my lord. Uh, well... So if I were to give it to you, would you give me the tear? And would that release you from your punishment? It would, my lord. 
Uh, okay. Well, you can take this sword then. We don't really have a need for it. I am most grateful to you then for my release. Oh, may the heavens sing your praises for this charity you have shown me. Oh, uh, sure. So apparently we gave him the sword, we got some experience, and he gave something back to us. What did he give? He gave the fourth tier, it looks like. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you very much, sir. In fact, actually, I'm looking at these uh, poison cure. I think these might be a bit more effective on Emmeline. Just this serves another way to actually give her some extra hit points. We'll give that to Yan. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay then. Well, that was relatively Just easy. What you want. I gotta say, these infernal challenges are not quite as difficult as we thought they were gonna be. At least that's what Carrot thinks. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, it's all very reasonable gathering our party and whatnot. <clears throat> Kevin Michael Richardson. Okay. That's four doors down. Let's check out the last one, which is down this mysterious stairwell. Of doom! Well, actually, who knows? Alright, team. Down we go. Whee! Ready and able. Is this thing always glowing? Man, it's getting annoying. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Hello there. Hello. So we meet again. How fitting that our reunion should be in this place of retribution. Saravak, you son of a bitch. Still alive? Well, not really. It is I. Or an echo, perhaps. My essence joined that of our dead father after you murdered me, after all. But in the end, all the children of Ball end up here. Oh, that's cheery. I have one of the tears of Ball you will need. I will not hand it over to you, however. You do not deserve it. Deserve it? And what do you mean by that, brother? I mean you are a pathetic worm, a sniveling little cretin. I relished spitting Gorion on my blade, and were there true justice, our positions would be reversed now. Alright, that's definitely hitting a sore spot there. I'm like, you dare speak of Gorion, murderer. Ah, yes. Stoke that infernal wrath of yours. I can feel the anger within you, boiling like a pit of sulfur in the crevices of your heart. You feel it, do you not? The taint that surrounds your soul like a serpent, squeezing it, spreading its venom. That taint, that wrath, exists in all the children of Ball, but few know how to use it. You have become the Slayer, have you not? The avatar of our dead father. The blackest expression of murder. I see it behind your eyes. Summon your wrath for me, if you can. Huh. What is he? Why is he doing this? This doesn't make sense. The carriage is going to be indignant at this point and say, No, I will not give in to your demands or the taint. You were the one who brought me here. Your power over this place has summoned forth my essence once again. And why do you think you have done that? Didn't mean to. I can teach you how to use your wrath. You can control the taint, direct it, summon it at will. You can become the slayer at will and become the weapon of murder that you were meant to be. So think of me. Think of how I destroyed your precious Gorion. How I plundered the lives of your Candlekeep. Summon your rage. Stir the depths of your black heart. Summon wrath. Summon wrath and become it. Because if you cannot, then you are not worth your destiny. It should have been I. It should have been I. Attack me, worm, if you dare! Here, taking a deep breath. And finally expressing his true feelings about Saravok to him directly. I don't feel the wrath you claim, Saravak. I pity you and what you have become. And that's all. Then you were never worthy of Bald's blood, and I shall crush you where you stand! 
Really? He's gonna try. If you insist. Oh goodness, he still knows how to fight. God, look at that. He hits practically every turn. Ferocious. Try to hold out, Minsk. Uh, yeah, and this actually might be a decent time to try to paralyze him. With your arrows. Garrett, uh, slow him down. That might help us out, folks. Alright, this is okay. Goodness, this guy is a terror. Probably just gonna have to start preemptively healing him again. In fact, it might make sense... Well, actually, we'll have Imowen summon up a creature to help him. We're just gonna have to start preemptively healing Minsk immediately. Imowen, it might make good sense for you to summon up a little help here. Keep trying to paralyze him. Carrot. Slowing him does not seem to be working. Let's see if we can make him afraid. Now he resists it. Alright, drink healing potion. Take a swing at him. Jahira, start preemptively healing Minsk again. Ah, this bastard sure is taking enough punishment. Alright, mages. Time for a little, uh, magic missile storm. Everyone, gather round and fire! Pew! 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 Wow, his magic resistance soaked it all. That is impressive. Son of a bitch is stubborn. He just keeps hitting and hitting. Alright, maybe Mince can do something appropriate to uh, really get him. Maybe he'll start doing some power attacks. That might be a good way to take him down. Jahira, ugh, do what healing you can. Oh, okay, we got him. Well, down Serva goes. Son of a bitch just doesn't want to give up. Still hits like a freaking Mack truck, though. Ouch. More healing potions to uh, Minsk, everybody. Ship them on over. Goodness knows he goes through them like it's going out of style. Hey, at least we can use these weak ones to help patch him up a bit more. Did we get the final star from him? Doesn't look like it. That's odd. Doesn't seem to be on his body. Where is the final tear? Oh, that's odd. If there's no tear, we're not going to be able to uh, progress. He's not willing to give it to us. That's odd. I suppose we could just leave. Hey, what about you? Can you heal any of us? Wow, you can cast a lot of awesome spells, actually. All kinds of attacks. Greater invisibility. You can cast heal three frickin' times? Holy crap! That thing is useful. What else can it do? Remove fear, cure disease, dispel magic, remove curse, lesser restoration. God, these things could do just about anything, it seems like. That is pretty incredible. All things considered. Saravok is dead as a doornail, but it doesn't seem like we can actually get his tear. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe if we come back... I don't know. Let's see if he's still in there, or if his spirit is there, I don't know. Couldn't find anything on his body. As you will. Oh, our Deva is still here, but it doesn't look like the tear is. Oh wait, hold on a tick. There it is. 
Alright, well we have all five tiers of ball. Apparently Carrot must have unwittingly picked it up at some point. Hey there, shiny angel that can't go to a new area with us. How about you cast some nice spells on us? Uh, uh remove curse, uh, lesser restoration. I don't think anybody's drained. Neutralize poison, raise dead. You're already true seeing. These are all attacks. You could cast improved visibility on some people. That'd probably be nice. In fact, I know just who needs spells like that. Oh. Never mind. It was time to unsummon. Whatever. Okay then. Well, team, I think we uh, plowed through the challenges of hell pretty well. And now it seems like all that's left is just to try to plunder through that abyssal door. And I suppose that's something that we can handle next episode. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you had a good time, and next time the party will face down a Renicus himself. Well, if he's behind this door, anyway. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you later, everybody.